Hey, welcome to this special edition of SDR News Live. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News. And as you know, we're getting pretty excited about it, the opportunity to go to HP Discover uh, coming up here in June, June 11, 12, and 13 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to be joined by a number of technology bloggers. And I'd like to introduce one of them, Philip Sellers. Hey, Andy. How are hey, you doing today? I'm doing, I'm doing well. I understand that you are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, so you're going to be well accustomed to the heat, but you're going to be in for a humidity change when we get to uh, Las Vegas. You've got that right. It's uh, the kind of humidity here that just takes your breath away. It's a welcome kind of heat out in Las Vegas. <laughs> I think that's, that's true. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself uh, uh, from a professional standpoint, and then tell us about your blog. Sure. I'm a senior systems administrator at a telecom here in the Myrtle Beach area, and I also blog and uh, write about most of the experiences that I have here hands-on with the products that we use. So my company's primarily an HP customer, and so I write about a lot of HP solutions as well as Microsoft and VMware. Those are kind of my areas of, of coverage for the blog. Okay, as they say, this is not your first rodeo. This will be, what, your third uh, HP Discover. That's right. I was lucky enough to make it out to the first year of HP Discover when they converged a bunch of different uh, tech conferences into the single event. And I can say it's a large event, a lot like VMworld, and there's a lot of people and a lot of technology to take in during the week. Yeah. What, what specifically are you going to be looking for when you're at HP Discover? And I don't know if you'll be taking photographs. What are you going to be writing about? Well, one of the big changes in my company this past year is we've made a transition onto the three-par storage platform. So I'm going to be attending as many three-par uh, classes and seminars as I can take in, as well as um, talking with vendors on the floor and looking for other software solutions that may ease some pain points. You know, I think we're like a lot of companies and we're trying to do more with less people and so we're needing more management solutions to be able to accommodate that without the extra bodies. So I'll be looking for those sorts of solutions to bring back home and then for my readers, I'm going to be talking with HP executives and with other uh, staff and technical um, expertise and, and, and trying to bring back as much good stuff as I can find about the solutions that we're using. So do you think that the main value is going to be in getting more out of what you already have or in setting a roadmap for further investment? You know, we found value in both areas. You know, we, we found new ways to use the current technology we've purchased from HP and we found brand new solutions to uh, either alleviate bottlenecks and, and pain points that we find with our current solutions and, or even offset uh, you know, uh, the existing third-party vendor solutions that we've got as well. We try to keep uh, a single vendor environment as much as possible. It helps us from a support standpoint. Uh, it's not always possible, but uh, you know, we're, we're constantly looking at what HP is doing to try and integrate their solutions. As you get feedback from people who, who read your blog, I assume that at trade shows uh, you'll run into folks and, and, and so forth. What seems to be on people's minds uh, as we've come out of the Great Recession and uh, may be able to catch our breath a little bit? Well, one good thing that seems to be happening is that budgets are kind of... Uh, not as constrained as they've been in the last few years and, and tech spending seems to be up again, staffing seems to be up again. And so uh, I think a lot of people are, are looking for solutions to the problems that they've been experiencing for the past few years that they've not been able to address because of the budget constraints and that kind of thing. Um, so I think we're, we're kind of moving into an era where people are looking for ways to fix what's wrong. Obviously, you're drilling further into the three-par product line. Are there are there other uh, things that uh, that you particularly want to investigate to bring to folks? Yeah, absolutely. HP's been doing some really neat things around software-specific solutions with Microsoft and with Microsoft SQL file sharing. So those product lines are pretty interesting to I think a lot of people looking at what they're doing to optimize 
their hardware platforms for specific software solutions, whether that's Oracle, Microsoft, whomever. And then also looking at things like uh, uh, Blade Centers and hyperscale servers. I mean, that's a really neat new announcement that HP came out with earlier this year. Um, you know, high, high density, low power utilization. It could have all sorts of implications in the years to come. So I think that's certainly something to follow. Okay, well, I'm certainly looking forward to having a chance to uh, to meet you there at the HP uh, Blogger Lounge, where we're going to be uh, conducting a number of interviews and such. Where do people go to to follow your blog and uh, follow you on on Twitter and uh, keep uh, keep up to date with your activities at HP Discover? Well, people can find me at tech.philipsellers.com, and they can also follow me on Twitter at at pbsellers.com or, excuse me, at PV Sellers. Okay, very good. I had to pull my mic down there for a moment as the uh, fire truck went by, but uh, you know, <laughs> that's a part of uh, recording live. Thanks very much for joining us, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you here coming up in, uh, in about 10 days. So, thank you. Thank you, Andy. Okay, thanks to you folks for joining us here as well. Don't forget that uh, we're going to be covering uh, a series of interviews at uh, HP Discover from uh, SDR News. It'll be on our live stream channel and then, of course, found uh, on our Roku channel as well. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on SDR News Live.